In this video, I'll take you through the steps required to integrate Watson Assistant with Facebook Messenger using the new built-in integrations that are available with the latest release of Watson Assistant. To build out our scenario then, I've already logged into uh, IBM Cloud and I've launched the Watson Assistant user interface. Um, I've also gone ahead and created a new assistant that we'll use to integrate with Facebook Messenger. If we take a look at some of the detail around the assistant that I've created then, you'll see that I've called it this um, customer service assistant. And if I click into the assistant, you'll see that it has just one skill, and it's this um, customer care sample skill. Essentially, the uh, sample skill that's made available with any new instance of uh, Watson Assistant. If I click into the skill then to take a look at some of the detail uh, there, you'll see that I have a number of intents that are that have been created, um, a number of entities, and you'll see that we have a dialogue that's been built to handle a conversation around um, uh, stores, hours of operations, or directions and location to a store, and, and some other details here too. To quickly try out then the uh, skill. I can use this try it button here, and if I enter a simple greeting, you'll see that I get um, a response from the uh, skill, and if I say where is your store located? You'll see that I also get a response around details of the store's location. So in the steps that follow, we'll build out the um, integration between Watson Assistant and Facebook Messenger so that you'll see we can have this same style conversation with Facebook Messenger and get the responses that are um, driven from, from Watson Assistant. So if I close this try it out pane here, and if I go back to uh, our skill, um, from here, we have the opportunity to add an integration. So to integrate with Facebook Messenger, if I click on this Add Integration button here, and then from the options of the different types of integrations that are available, if I select Facebook Messenger here. Um, first thing we'll do is give the integration a name. We'll call this Customer Service Integration. Um, we can update the description if we like. I won't do that now. Um, and if we take a look at the steps that are required here, you'll see there's just uh, four simple steps for us to, to work through to complete the integration scenario. Uh, this first step asks us to create a Facebook application if we don't have one already. Um, I don't, so I'm going to click on the link that's provided, and I'm taken to uh, Facebook. From here, I can click on My Apps, and from My Apps, I can say Add New App, and I will create a new app. I'm going to reuse this customer service app name. It's one I've used before. And I'm going to click on Create App ID. Once our app is being created, let's go back to Watson Assistant and see what we need to do next. Um, so the next thing we'll need to do is get this app secret and paste it in the uh, field that's uh, available for us here. So through settings, basic, and then app secret from Facebook. So if I go settings, and then basic, I close this window here too. Our app secret is here. If I click on show, I can copy this value across, and I can paste it back into Watson Assistant. And that's step one complete. Uh, if we look at step, step two then, we are connecting Watson Assistant to Facebook. So we'll need to go back to Facebook, um, click on products, add a product, um, um, find Messenger, and then click setup. So let's do that now. So it's to products, and scroll down to Messenger, and then click on this setup button here. If we go back to Watson Assistant, let's have a look and see what we need to do here. Um, we'll need to scroll down to token generation and select the page that we want to use for our app. So if I scroll down to token generation here, I've already created a page on Facebook that I'm going to use to um, host the Messenger instance that's going to be connected to Watson Assistant. That page is uh, listed here, I hope. Yep, this is the, our restaurant page that I created earlier. Um, and I'll need to go through this process of, well, simply saying continue. If I wanted to make this app public, I'd need to go through a, a review process with Facebook. I don't for the purposes of this demo, so I'm just going to say um, continue and click on OK. Let's go back to Watson Assistant and see what we need to do next. Um, we will copy that um, token that's just been created and paste it in here. So let's copy this uh, page access token and paste it here. And next we'll need to specify a verify token. 
Um, and you'll see that we can type any string we want to use here. So I'll just say any string, any string, that's fine. And scroll down to step three. So in step three, we're looking at um, configuring Facebook webhooks. Um, in Facebook Messenger, we'll scroll down to the webhook section and then click uh, set up webhooks. First thing we'll do though before we go there is click on this uh, generate callback URL. So if we go webhooks and uh, click set up webhooks, so webhooks and click set up webhooks, and then go back to the instructions from what's an assistant here. We're going to paste in this callback URL. Oops, make sure I copy that okay. We're gonna put in our verified token. I think I said any string, but let me just be doubly sure. Scroll up, yeah, any string there. So I simply type any string, make sure I spell it right, any string. Um, next, you'll see under subscription fields, select messages and messaging underscore postback. So messages and messaging underscore postbacks. And last thing we'll do then is click verify and save. Okay, after our config settings have been saved, let's go back to Watson Assistant and see what we need to do in step four. So in step four here, um, in the messenger settings, we'll go back to webhooks and we'll click on select a page and then select the same page as we selected before. Okay, so webhooks, select the page. So select a page and click on our restaurant. And then we click on subscribe. Okay, at this point, um, we've completed all of the steps required to integrate uh, Watson Assistant with Facebook Messenger. So we should be in a position to test our integration scenario. If I go to Facebook then, and if I go to the our restaurant page, that's the page you would have seen me um, configure to host the integration through the course of the steps that we've just um, completed. I should be able to use this send message button, this test button uh, option that's available here to um, have a conversation with um, Watson Assistant, right? So if I say, hi there, simple greeting, uh, the same greeting that I used in the try it out pane from Watson Assistant earlier, you'll see that I get a response here um, from Watson, which is great. And then I might say, uh, where is your store located like I asked Watson earlier too. You'll see that I get a response back uh, there from Watson too. Um, okay so hopefully you can see um, from this quick video that you know building out an integration scenario between uh, Watson Assistant and Facebook Messenger is well uh, really easy um, using the new built-in integrations that are available with Watson Assistant. Thanks for your time I hope this was helpful. Bye-bye.